Hello everyone and welcome back to Call of Cthulhu. Unfortunately I'm in no condition to use the webcam so there will be no facecam in this video but I guess it's not that important anyway. So in the first part we already arrived at this island and started our investigation. Nothing major happened, we just talked to a couple of people. So um, we have to investigate this case where it looks like it was a suicide but there's definitely more to it. Especially since we had this we had a dream in the beginning. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Right here. It looks like there's a way in under this grate. All right. So yeah, there's uh, obviously going to be something, something involving Cthulhu. I mean, the game wouldn't be called Call of Cthulhu otherwise, right? But now we have to get into this warehouse 36. I could use this old winch to lift the grating, but it's been completely taken to bits. Okay. There must be some spare parts amid all this clutter. So, yes. I guess we have to find a way there first. Can I even jump down here without an eye? No. He is not a suicider. Yeah, this game is, um, well, I wouldn't say realistic, but semi realistic. Like, you know. No, this guy does not have any superpowers. Okay, I already found a part. A ratchet device. Exactly what I need. Hmm, cool. So I guess now we can go up there. I'm not exactly sure how to get to this warehouse, like there's a car which is blocking and uh, also the other way the gate was closed. Oh, maybe this guy knows something. Hello. You saw what happened with those sailors. Don't hang around here unless you want trouble with the bootleggers. You're not scared of that boss. What are bootleggers doing around here? Unlocked answer. Okay. I've seen the kind of messages their boss sends. You're not scared of her. Of course I am. Everyone's scared of that woman. She's not interested in small fry like me. You, on the other hand, nose around too much, you'll have dealings with her. Hmm. This warehouse looks abandoned. Why does it interest them so much? No doubt a question of territory, but I ain't asking. You want to know more, go ask the captain. Good. Thank you. Well, we already talked to the captain plenty of times and exhausted all the dialogue options. But is this warehouse 36? I thought it was the... Hmm. I think we need like a lever or something. This is not enough. Can I... Uh... There's no jump button. I thought I can maybe get to the other door. I guess we have to find another part. Let's see. Oh, there's something wait. A whale vertebra. If the newspaper clipping in the bar is true, this bone is a real fossil. Hmm. I thought it's iron at first, but I guess it's a bone, okay. Hmm. This, looks... this handle will be perfect for yes. the winch. This is what we need. Okay. So how do I... Uh... Ah. It should be possible to mount this cogwheel on the winch. Yeah, obviously, we need to... Like this, now it'll work. Makes sense. Looks like everything is in its place. All I have to do is turn this handle. Okay, that doesn't look like something we should go in, but I mean, in, in real life, you probably wouldn't go there, right? Interesting green glow. <coughs> oh, what the fuck? Is this poison? Ah. Okay, uh, I think I should not go in there. 
It's like, maybe I need to find the gas mask or something, I don't know. Should I try? Should I risk it? I don't think there were any other options, to be honest. Um, I can't pick it up, no. Now what is this? <coughs> Smoke. It's coming from this oil. Hmm. Smells harmless, but should I beware of psychotropic effects? Yeah, that's my line exactly. <coughs> I should not stay here too long. Well, there's not. I mean, there is not that much of this. Oh, no, wait. This is not where I came from. Yeah, like, seriously, would you go in some cave with weird smoke, whatever it was, this oil, and then go into the water? I mean, this detective, he really takes it. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What are this? What are this now? Uh, I cannot duck here. Oh, fuck. Okay, I think I'm game over. <laughs> well, if we're lucky, it's just a dream, right? Yeah. No, it's just... It was because... <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> okay, that, <laughs> that was cool. Well, I told him not to get in there. Yeah, it's because of the oil. He, like, hallucinated, but... <laughs> shit. That was pretty cool. At first I thought maybe it's a, an actual octopus. I mean, it's close to the sea, so could have been possible. Okay, what, is, what do we have here? This is primitive. Oh, oh what is this? There's like a green sun. Maybe uh, my skill for interpreting and interpreting this stuff is not high enough. And the cool thing about this game is that you can invest, you can invest in like medicine and yeah, what, what was it? All the there, there it is. There's like medicine, occultism, psychology, spot hidden, yeah, strength. Pretty interesting set, but I think this is the right place where we are. Also, this game is not very realistic because his light is burning all the time. Ah, oh, this place. I'm just kidding. What is the connection between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? No, I don't know. But there will be definitely. Jump. To rip cons. What? Okay. Interesting. I guess now we're doing some kind of. Batman stuff. Like in the Arkham games you can like uh, reconstruct the what happens. If there's a murder you can like manipulate time and well not really manipulate time but you can fast forward and fast backward this stuff. So what's with this for example? What is this picture of Charles and Sarah Hawkins doing here? I guess you can say it's kind of like a detective skill. Also, what's stupid is that I cannot put this lantern, I cannot pick it up, I mean. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Hmm. I guess this is all? No, there's still some stuff. It smells as bad as it looks. Yeah, I believe that. Medicine. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? Okay. Okay, I think this is. Oh no, there's another clue. A broken mirror. What happened here? Yes. Broke the mirror. Oh, there was actually a reflection. Look at this. Up there, you can see the lighter. Oh, I cannot enter it again, but I think I have all the clues anyway. So, uh, what now? Uh, maybe I have not... Yeah, I think there's something. Maybe I have overlooked something, but I cannot enter this again. 
Well, okay, let's... Uh... This looks like it might be a door, actually. Maybe not. Mm -hmm. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! You again. I told you to stay away from this warehouse. Um, I don't remember that, to be honest. It's been a while since I played this game. Threaten the police officer. I don't think that is strength professional. Let's team up to test psychology. I have invested quite some points into strengths, but I think it's... Uh, no, let's try psychology instead, maybe we can... You seem like a competent officer. We should help each other. You're trying to manipulate me, Mr. Pierce. Hmm. I hate to be taken for a fool. I guess that didn't work, All right, huh? Inspector Lestrade. Let me take a more direct approach. Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange place. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene? Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Okay, I thought he was being sarcastic, but... Andrews, yeah, it looks... Like he's actually helping me now. Rise, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. God damn it. Her again. Oh, it's that bitch. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley. You finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on. Keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? Who the hell are you? What were you doing on my turf? I've got my eye on you. We'll meet again. Uh, I guess so. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. See the building? Okay. That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on, we got some driving to do. The sound effects indicate that nothing good is going to happen up there. But yeah, it's uh, definitely an interesting game. Yeah, I think this is uh, the building that was on the cover, actually. Like, I used it as the background for the thumbnail, yeah, exactly. Well, of the first the, uh, video. Hawkins Mansion. It's also the cover of the book, I think. Because this game is actually based on a book for those who don't know. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Okay. Burned in a fire. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion or do you have other questions? Yeah, I have a locked all kinds of questions here, like why is he still here, this guy? He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family, so he's got nowhere to go. And 
As you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? Hmm, anything I should be wary of? I prefer to be prepared if there's going to be trouble. It's a wise attitude. But apart from old Silas and some rotten floorboards, there's nothing to worry about. Could he be a problem? Strictly speaking, he ain't dangerous. But since the tragedy, he's been a little touched. Though, he's a remarkably sturdy man, given his age. A true force of nature. A sad old man doesn't worry me. Gee, if you don't want to listen to my advice, we might as well go. Right? You know this place very well. You're the one who looked after the Hawkins case. Don't think I was trying to hide it. It's just that this discovery shakes my convictions. That's why you're so keen to find out who removed the painting from the mansion. Yes. If something escaped us, or if there's been a law enforcement error, then it's up to the police to make good its mistake. Anything else? This place is falling in all this. You won't get me to believe that it looked any better three months ago. It's a very old building, you know? Its foundations would probably date from the arrival of the first settlers. It's got nothing to do with Charles Hawkins' debts. Ha! Huh. You've already begun to nose around it, would seem. Hmm. So, since you already know it, the Hawkins family couldn't afford the upkeep of this house. It remains to be seen what they did with all their money. I wager it was Charles Hawkins' travels. Let's go up there. Unless you still have questions. Okay, let's go there. Night falls quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. I guess so. I guess also this is where the main action will be. Yeah, this place looks spooky enough. Like there's an angel statue. And what else do we have? This guy's still here? Ah. This is the right place, the right way, I thought up there, okay. Nice. Yes, yeah, so very creepy. What does it say here? Bradley was right. This place is much older than I imagined. 1693. The architecture seems too recent. The sound effects are really creeping me out. Okay. A graveyard. <laughs> I thought this was a corpse. It's just a brunch. The flowers on Sarah Hawkins' grave are fresh. The old caretaker must be very attached mm. to her. And what happened here? Charles Hawkins' grave. Who could have done this? I told you. Silas Winchester is still watching over the Hawkins family. I must say, it's pretty gloomy. So, detective, does this place inspire any thoughts? Um, I've seen enough such a strange final resting place. Why were they buried here? I was given to believe that it was Charles Hawkins' wish. Strange idea. I imagine Webster wasn't too pleased. Mrs. Hawkins' father? It's said that he's devastated. Let's go to the mansion. Please give me a minute. Another grave wave. I didn't expect to set foot back here after the burial. What kind of deranged individual would defile this sanctuary and steal a burnt painting? Hmm. I don't see Silas doing such a thing. Let alone allowing it. Even that broad baker is above that. Lord, have pity on this poor family. Poor kid. How old was he? 1930, 1924. Okay, so 11 years. Uh, obviously, I cannot speak this up. So, are we ready now? Or... I think I have to leave him here for a while.
And the visuals of this game are really well done. I mean the creepiness effect. Okay, I cannot go this way. Oh, that's also something I overlooked. Yeah, it laid me down. It kept awakened. What? I slept, I awakened for the for the Lord. It's a bit hard to read, sustains me. It's from the Bible, huh? It's here. Hill house. Hilltop house. Yeah, okay. Let's continue. I think it came from that place, but it should be also possible to go up here. I bet something spooky is going to happen. Yeah, game saved. I don't know if it's actually possible to die in this game. Like later, there should be some kind of. I've got this button to peek around the corner, so I think there will be some. Uh, at some point. I'll have to find another entrance. Yeah, at some point in the game there definitely will be some kind of stuff I have to hide from. Is this guy coming or what? What do we have here? No, yeah. Uh -huh. This entrance is still in use. <laughs> Holy shit. You were trying to force the door, you nosy prick. Easy, sir. All right. Put down the axe. You know what we do with rubble like you? We gut them. Dump them into the ocean. Whoa. Uh, hey, chill uh, out, dude. I'm a detective. Mr. Winchester. Lower that axe. Let's talk calmly. I'll show you how we have it out on dark water. <laughs> Grab his axe, okay. Um, to not defile this place. You haven't forgiven yourself. That sounds good. You stay here to honor the memory of the deceased. That's true. I want no more violence. No more tragedy. Yeah, see, it's, it's painful right to be the last one left. You don't know how right you are. Understood. I'm listening. Because the police a... report describes a domestic accident, but Stephen Webster has several reasons to believe that this may not be the case. Webster is as stubborn as an old mule, and I did tell him that we should let the dead rest in peace. He wants to restore the reputation of his daughter. I just need to see where the fire started. No, I can't let you in. The mansion isn't safe. That's why you barricaded the entrance. That's right. And this door? It's locked. And I make sure it stays that way. Hmm. I wonder if it was actually possible to make him angry so that he would have attacked me. Because it was a timed answer, timed decision, like in The Witcher, kind of. Um, Sarah Hawkins was important to you? Yeah, I guess so the... He wants to get rid of me. I'm pretty sure the unlocked answers you are still always put flowers right. flowers on her grave. You cherish yes. her memory. Well, it makes Mrs. sense now. Hawkins was an exceptional person. She cared for everyone around her. Let me shed a light on what happened to her. Give me that key. Hmm. I'm probably making a big mistake, but it won't be the first. Here, take the key and do what you have to do. Go on, then, just to get rid of you. Let's see what more I can learn from this mansion. Hmm. Okay, nice. Now uh, the policeman is also there. First let me see if there's something interesting over here. Probably not. Oh, the light. This looks so awesome. Look at this. That's what I meant by graphics. Graphics are not that good if you look at the textures and everything, but the art style is really fantastic. What do I this gate is locked. With all the... Uh, with all the mist and stuff. Look at the light effects. Reflecting on the sea, this looks awesome. Very spooky, very climatic. Okay, and the moon. Is there also a moon? Now over there somewhere. Okay, so I guess let's head inside. Firewood. P.S. Shall we enter? Yeah, I guess now so. Now that you finish your fun and games with Silas, we can perhaps inspect the mansion. You're right. Let's go. 
Take a look inside. I'm with you. Follow me. I know the place. Who left this light on? Yeah, it really does look like, like there was a fire here. Look, I don't see anything burnt. The Last Supper of oh, the shit. Hawkins. What does this tell me? Okay. I can investigate it again with my better ability. Let's see. This roast. What strange creature has flesh like this? <laughs> um, yeah, there are like tentacles. Actually, look at this. They're eating some kind of octopus. Also, that's like an eye. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, this place is for the head of the family, Charles Hawkins. Hmm. Anything else? Oh, wait, it's here. The boy was probably here. Smashed his plate on the floor. Okay. Sarah Hawkins' plate. Why did she leave it untouched? Something happened at this table. An argument? I think this is it. There's nothing more to find here. Yeah. Maybe if my stats were higher in certain things, maybe then I would have found more. Oh. Hey, Pierce. Daydreaming again. Mm -hmm. Working, officer. This dinner table tells us a lot about the Hawkins family life. Well, we don't have all day. The scene of the fire is next door. <laughs> There's lightning outside, yeah. Very climatic. Okay, um, let's go and see the fire scene. Silas managed to bring the fire on Let's see if I can find something the cops missed. It's already too late for the Hawkins. Okay, but I have the feeling we will investigate the fireplace in the next video. Thank you all for watching and see you around.